It's reading time. The ant and the dove and other stories. The ant and the dove. One hot day, an ant was searching for some water. After walking around for some time, she came to a spring. To reach the spring, she had to climb up a blade of grass. While making her way up, she slipped and fell into the water. She was frightened as she could not swim. There was nothing she could do. She began to struggle helplessly in the water. She could have drowned if a dove up a nearby tree had not seen her. Seeing that the ant was in trouble, the dove quickly plucked off a leaf and dropped it into the water near the struggling ant. The ant moved towards the leaf and climbed up there. Soon, it carried her safely to dry ground. Just at that time, a hunter nearby was throwing out his net towards the dove, hoping to trap it. Guessing what he was about to do, the ant quickly bit him on the hill. Feeling the pain, the hunter dropped his net. The dove was quick to fly away to safety. The moral of this story is, one good turn deserves another. This story is about how the camel got short ears. In a small desert town, there was once a camel who felt jealous when he saw a bull with fine, strong horns. Later, when he saw a stack with beautiful long antlers, he felt even more jealous. He went to his master and cried, Why don't I have horns like a bull or antlers like a stag? I cannot defend myself like they can. His master laughed and said, <laughs> All animals are different. Look, you have a home so that you can live without water for a long time. Bulls and stags cannot do that. The next day, the camel saw a war horse with a bag of swords on its back. Again, he felt jealous because he only carried bags of corn and containers of water. He went to his master and said, I know I can never have horns or antlers, but please give me some swords to protect myself with. His master laughed and said, How oh, can an animal use swords? The camel went on pleading until the master became fed up and said, Since you cannot accept yourself the way you are, I am going to trim your ears. And that is how the camel's ears became shorter than those of most animals, leaving its head even more unprotected than before. The moral of the story is, if you ask for too much, you may end up with less than what you had to begin with. Now, the story is about the dog in a manger. Once upon a time, there was a selfish dog who lived in a barn. He would sleep on the soft hay in a manger which was the feeding rack from which the horses ate. As you know, dogs do not like to eat hay and there was no food for the dog inside the barn. However, the selfish dog would stay right there in the manger that was meant for feeding the horses. When the horses came into the barn to eat their hay, the dog would bark and drool at them. The poor horses could not eat their food. They asked the dog to leave the manger for just a little while, but he refused. They told him that the farmer put out big tasty bones for the dog in the farmyard every day, but still he refused to move. No matter how hard the horses tried to persuade the dog to move away, he refused to leave the manger. What a selfish dog, the horses said. He cannot eat the hay, yet he will not let us eat our food. Now we will all starve. The moral of the story is you should not stop others from using something that you cannot use. Okay, see you next time. Keep on reading.